Listen, there's one yeah. game that's Monday Night Football on Monday Night Football. I mean, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Monday Night Football. Yeah. I I don't think it's Monday Night Football worthy. I just don't care to see it too much. I know you're different. I just don't – I really don't yeah. give two shits about these teams respectfully. And that's the Seahawks and the Lions. Like, to me, I feel like – Oh, could really? Be, okay. I, just I thought it was I don't care for that matter. Not yeah. prime time. Yeah. There's there's other games that you got to put on the on on primetime, but I get it. You got somebody's got to fill the slot. You're not a huge fan. You haven't bought into the lines. No. Yeah. Because I don't believe in Jared Goff. Yeah. You know me. I'm a very simple yeah. guy. Uh, I think he's a stuck in the mud quarterback. Uh, I've said that. And when, when I say stuck in the mud quarterback, let me give you Malik's definition: guys that aren't very mobile, guys that need a situation that's extremely perfect around them in order to make things work. Jared Goff is very similar to Derek Carr in that way for me. Yeah. And I feel like. Um, those guys kind of benefit a lot from maybe the situation around them versus mm -hmm. actually uplifting the situation. I, I just think that I think that the Lions have made themselves believe that they can win with Jared Goff. Yep. And I think they're going to find out very shortly there was a reason why Sean McVay moved off of him. And Sean McVay has worked with a lot of quarterbacks. And if there's a if if, if he was willing to move off of Jared Goff as quickly as he did after already making it to a Super Bowl, that should tell you a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. And I I get it. Like Jared Goff is a guy that's always going to be competitive. He's always going to be a guy that uh, can, you know, score. But his good games are good. His bad games are bad, right? You get uh, the inconsistent play. You get the throwing behind the sticks, especially when you need a first down. You you get all of that sometimes when it comes to a Jared Goff. So for me, I just don't – he doesn't move me too much. I think what's always going to hold this Lions back, team back, and I think we're going to look back at it, and, at it and say, damn, that was a very good Lions football team, is the fact that, you know, their quarterback. I think they need somebody at the quarterback position that is, can transcend the position. It's not enough, right? It's not enough. And I love what Bert Chase says in the comment section. He feels like he's similar. He feels similarly about Brock Purdy. I say at least Brock Purdy does what he does as at an elite, efficient level. Yep. That is what I will say. He, they don't ask him to do too much, but when he when it comes to executing that system, he does it at an elite Brock Purdy level. I don't feel like Jared Goff plays at a Jared Goff elite level on a consistent basis. Mm. And that's just my thoughts. And listen, Jared Goff is somebody said Goff is very Dalton esque, except for some reason, everyone likes Goff. Don't know why. He made it to Super Bowls. Andy Dalton never made it to Super Bowls. And Dalton never won playoff games. Yeah. Like, so I think that's what creates a little bit of fool's gold. But I'm I'm willing to bet on this hill Jared Goff will never win a Super Bowl as a starting quarterback in his career. That's my those are my thoughts. Yeah. I just don't think the Lions can win with him. And maybe they'll uh come to terms with that sooner rather than later. But that's just my thoughts. And um, didn't they give the guy an extension? Uh yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it is what it is. You're tied, you're tied at the hip with that guy. I guess we'll see what happens when guys start uh leaving that roster. But